Hello? Is your in-house chemist available? You don't have an in-house chemist. It said you did when I was online. My dad exam's coming up. What am I supposed to do? This is false advertising. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. I'm going to find Dr. Romano. He's my in-house chemist. Hi, Dr. Romano. There you are. I know you're my in-house chemist. You can solve any problem. What are you working on there, Dr. Romano? Hi, how are you? I want to go over an acid-base equilibrium problem that you're going to see on the DAT exam. So okay. we're going to get started. Dr. By the way, there's no such thing as an in-house chemist, so why don't we cut the bullshit? Well, that's what they told me. All right, let's get to work. It says that the concentration of a weak monoprotic acid is 0.100 molar, and the Ka is 1.7 to the minus fourth. And I want to ask you three questions, and I worked it out for you, but I'll go through it. The first thing we want to do is the minute you see it's a weak monoprotic acid, we're going to call it HA. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to put it in water. And we're going to agree as a team in general chemistry, we're always going to assume the solvent is water unless otherwise noted. So you took HA plus water, it gave off an H, and you get H3O plus A minus. Next, we write the Ka. The Ka is simply the products divided by the reactants. So it's going to be the H3O times the A minus divided by HA, and we neglect the water. Now, Notice that H3O plus and A minus are in a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to call this X and this X. Let's put the numbers in. The Ka is 1.7 to the minus fourth. Since this is a one-to-one -one ratio, we call it X times X or X squared. And then the bottom, the original amount initially was 0.100. But at equilibrium, we're obviously going to lose some of that, and it's going to be 0.100 minus X. However... For the DAT exam, we're always going to neglect the X in the denominator, so we don't have to do a quadratic equation. So that's going to give me, when you cross multiply, the 1.7 to the minus fourth times 0.100, which is 1 to the minus 1, equals X squared. This gives me 1.7 to the minus 5 equals X squared. Watch the trick. I'm going to move the, now, I'm going to move the decimal up one, and I'll move this back one. I do that so I can get a nice even number for 10 to the minus 6th power in this case. Now, the square root of 17 is about 4. The square root of to the minus 6 is to the minus 3. So solving, you get 4 to the minus 3 molar is equal to the H3 concentration, which is the X, which is also equal to the A minus. To find the pH, it's minus the log of the H3O concentration, so minus the log of 4 to the minus 3. If it was 1 to the minus 3 minus the log of it, we would have got 3. So 4 to the minus 3, it would be a little less than 3. I show how to do this in the Dot Destroyer, so you can practice how to do estimation of logs. So minus the log of that would give me 2.5. And finally, the percent ionization is the part over the whole. The part that broke up was 4 to the minus 3, the total was 1 to the minus 1, or 0.100, times it by 100, and that gives me approximately 4%. Indeed, a long question, but this gives you great practice. I have many types of questions like this in the Dr. Destroyer book, and um, I will continue to post questions on the study group. Speaking of the Dad study group, I'm thrilled with it. I hope you are. Um, I have a lot more surprises coming up in the future on that group. It's growing, and kids are loving it, and I love meeting some of you guys, if not in physical sense, meeting you online and discussing. I'm results. a member of the group, Dr. Romano, and I get to see you uh, in person, too. Will you be doing some more problems today? I'm always doing problems. I dream chemistry. With that, I'm going to say goodbye to you and good day. Okay, Dr. Romano. Thank you for being my in-house chemist. Good day to you, sir.